Plants have a few basic needs to create energy, sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. But getting access to these basic needs can be difficult, and it can be hard to keep hold of them. Plants absorb water from the soil, often going to great lengths to find it. But it gets its carbon dioxide from the air, and carbon dioxide exists at pretty low concentrations. So the way that plants breathe is to open small pores in their leaves called stomata. When they are open, carbon dioxide can enter the leaf. The problem for the plants is that their hard-earned water can now be lost through these open pores. So in an effort to hold on to their water, plants tightly regulate the opening of their pores. And when carbon dioxide is abundant, they can close them for longer periods to prevent losing too much water. Since the Industrial Revolution, the amount of carbon dioxide in the air has risen very quickly, with a concentration that is now over 400 parts per million. We have begun to see the impacts this is having on our climate, with record-breaking temperatures and more extreme weather. But it's also having interesting impacts on plants. Studies of forests have shown that higher levels of carbon dioxide substantially increases water efficiency. This is because the trees and other plants can keep their pores closed longer and still get their required carbon dioxide. But forests are generally limited by the amount of light, not the amount of water. We can see this as trees compete for the canopy. It's in regions with less rainfall where the effects are interesting. Over the last three decades, the semi-arid regions of the world have started to green. And even when you exclude the effects of rainfall, the semi-arid regions have greened by about 11%. In these areas, there is not much water. And historically, when carbon dioxide levels were lower, the amount of time a plant needed to keep their pores open resulted in too much water loss to stay alive. However, with the richer atmosphere, they can absorb the carbon faster, close their pores, and survive in these poor conditions. This process is actually helping to slow down climate change. Having some new areas where plants can absorb carbon dioxide will mean that more carbon dioxide can be absorbed. But it's not all candy. Climate change is also shifting rainfall patterns and increasing the likelihood of drought in many semi-arid regions, such as the western United States and southwestern Australia. So whilst higher levels of carbon dioxide is helping to green some parts of the planet, the changed climate that is caused by the same carbon dioxide is doing the opposite elsewhere.